Hey, again now tell me, why are you living the way you live in life? Are you happy? Are you content? Or are you settling? It's the growth. Do you have any goals or aspirations set? What is it that you want to accomplish? What is it that you want to see? Is it tangible? Anything and everything can be done with adequate planning and proper research. So, honestly, if you know something that you want to do has a budget of a thousand dollars, we'll save for that thousand. You can save a thousand dollars by saving thirty dollars a day, and when you do thirty times thirty, that's nine hundred. So it'll take you less than two less than two months to get the bread. Maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to make money another way. That's fine. It's perfect. I'm not going to tell anybody how to live their life or what it is that they want to do. But if it's tangible, if it's real, figure out how much it costs. And then you can do adequate planning from that. Because if you have a dream and a desire, you want to stay in the skyline, you want to stay in a boutique hotel, you want to stay in a chateau. You want to stay in a finca, you want to stay in a villa, or any of those other little fancy names for big buildings when you're overseas abroad, or even in America. Anybody can do it. You have to have the money. Some people save. Some people make a lot of money. At the end of the day, it's just having money. It's still going to be a bill and it's still going to be a cost. So do adequate planning, and then you can accomplish what it is that you want. But if you don't and you just say, I want to do something and you don't do the research and then you find yourself unable to do it, you can't live like this, you're living in a shitty ass apartment, possibly cohabitating with somebody that you don't like because you can't live on your own, that's on you. Do the actual planning. Figure out how much it costs. Live within your means and then you can exercise the option. Because honestly, if you like to eat McDonald's or Checkers or any of that other bullshit food and you just do the math and you spend $7 a day on fucking McDonald's or uh, Wendy's or whatever the fuck it is, multiply that by 30. That's $210. If you do $5 a day, multiply that by 30. That's $150 on fast food. That's two mac chickens and no fry. That's that's a $3 bundle. Like, you're not even satisfied. At that point, just buy a whole chicken for $5 and scratch that out the entire day. Again, I'm not a money management person. I know how to manage my own money. I'm not perfect. I give myself my own haircuts. Why? Because why the fuck do I want to make somebody else rich so they can live their own life? I learned to cut my own fucking hair and then save myself $20 a week, $30 a week. I can have eighty to hundred dollars, and then you can fucking rent some shit like this. But again, you don't want to be humble. You don't want to be realistic. Spend your money on bullshit. Stay in America. Work your shitty ass nine to five job. Probably stay with a partner that you don't even fucking like, and just maintain. But if you want to elevate and actually do better, humble yourself. Figure out what it is that you want. Live within your means. Do adequate planning and saving. And then you can vacation as frequently as you want. I do not have to work a conventional job like another person. And that's by choice. I have options to work an actual good, good job. I quit a job that actually was able to pay six figures. Because part of it was bullshit. And I would have still spent hella fucking money in taxes. Ask anybody that you know who makes six figures and they're within the tax bracket, they pay 28% of their gross pay or more. I guarantee you they're gonna say, oh shit, I make $100,000 and if I pay 28% of my gross pay, that's down with $30,000. My $100,000 is worth $70,000 after taxes. That's bullshit. So that means you have to make more, and you have to probably make $150,000 just to pay $30,000 in taxes, just to clear $100,000 as a fucking net. And then don't have any other type of things taking your money. I'm not living like that. Because life is about numbers and you find out the numbers and you figure it out and you adjust your life. Talk to those ancient cultures. Talk to those ancient people who actually work on numbers 
for over thousands of years and you'll find peace within yourself but yeah that was just a piece of just a little ramble hopefully it helps you expand your mind but anything and everything is possible i got a big room and i upgraded and i'm going somewhere else and gonna have some nice and shit and my client is definitely enjoying herself. My client is actually gonna speak on it. My client is gonna my client is actually ready to do the same thing and become more of a frequent traveler because he makes money. And he said, Why am I killing myself in America to make more money and be unsatisfied? I'm about to make this money, pay my bills, and then go see some other shit and then get on another hustle to make more money. That's a part about being an entrepreneur and about thinking outside the box. But again, if if that's not what you want to do, I'm not here to convince you. But don't let no one tell you it's not possible. Living a great life is possible. And you do not have to have a lot of money. You have to be smart, patient, humble, and be concise. If you want a pool on the roof, look up pools on the roof. If you want a pool in your room, look up pools in your room. If you want a sauna and hot tub, look up a sauna and hot tub. You might stay in the hood. You might stay in a gentrified area. You might stay in a great area that's really after winter. And then figure out how much it costs to figure out the logistics. And then plan around that. Because if you just keep jumping around saying, I want this, 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 and nothing is concise, you're not going to get this shit. Or you're going to spend too much fucking money. But, like I said, this just some rambling. I hope you guys are able to elevate and do great yourself.